All right, it's Bill here, and the Leafs are on the win column with a 4-2 win over Sheldon Keith's New Jersey Devils. Uh, I'll get a bit into the game, but uh, obviously I predicted it to be a Leafs loss, and I totally forgot that being a Leafs fan means that whatever you think is going to happen, like you're going to beat Montreal, you lose, and then when you play the Devils on a back-to-back, -back, and they've been sitting resting, and Sheldon Keith, who I'm going to guess put a lot of money on the board, to get the game here today and then the Leafs come up in fourth line, third lines have great games and the next thing you know, the Leafs have won four to two. Um, it was it was an interesting game. Uh, I'll get into a little bit with my little rants because the guys I ranted on last week or yesterday got a goal, but uh, again, I do watch the game. So I don't just watch a score sheet. So I'll comment on, on the games of those, those particular players. However, um, a couple of things right off the bat. Uh, Hell's Bells? Way better than violins and, you know, I didn't, we didn't see the opening ceremony, but I, the first thing I did when I turned on the game was I heard Hell's Bells. That's better. That feels like a hockey song. Thank you, New Jersey. You seem to do that right. Uh, but uh, here's comments on the game. First of all, goaltending. We have, apparently our fourth goalie was in the net, Dennis Hildeby. He was dynamite. Dynamite. That was my first video I said for the season. Why do I think the Leafs are going to be contending for second place in the in the in the division? And that's because we have good goaltending. Even with Wall being hurt, I don't get it. I don't understand how you, the guy like gets, goes out six weeks when he when he's been in practice, but and then he doesn't like interviews after game six and it seems fine. And the next day he's not. I, I don't get that kind of piece. But uh, the the Hildeby was solid. First NHL start. Now, I will say the Leafs in the first period gave him a lot to work with. I thought the Leafs were dynamite in the first period, and I thought maybe it's the, you know, I, I've done the travel. I've done the travel from Malaysia to, or Europe to, to Canada, and I'm certainly, I'm not an athlete at all, but I certainly, it affects me for a couple of days. So maybe there was a bit of that, uh, you know, jet lag for the, the Devils. They didn't seem to come out very good. And let's be honest, their goaltending was garbage, and our goaltending was good, and that's the difference in the game. Uh, the first goal, again, Robertson in. See, this is where people are going to go, Bill, you just trashed Patrick Preddy and Johnny Day, and they scored a goal. See, I'm looking at a game sheet. So, oh, see, they're awesome players. If anyone saw Max Pacioretty goal, that is completely Nick Robertson going. He, he flies into the zone, causes mayhem. It, Bound, puck bounces around in front of the net, and next thing you know, Pacioretty picks up some garbage. That was the goal. If I'm wrong, please let me know. I watched it. Uh, I watched the shift. I watched the shifts before that. I thought uh, I thought Robertson was dynamite. I, I thought he just played really, really well. Holmberg played pretty well. He was good. And yes, pa Pacioretty gets the goal, but he, he was pretty much terrible in the game. I didn't see anything I liked, but yeah, he scored a goal, so good for you. So it's one nothing. The next, the next goal scored by Bobby McMahon. I mean, uh, any goalie in the league with their grain of salt stops that. I, so when the goal went in uh, off the boards, I was at darts when I saw it, but then I, I was like, okay, well, uh, that looked weird. And then when I watched it uh, on the replay when I got home, it, it was weirder. There was not, it wasn't a screen. That was just a straight shot from the half boards. Not even the half boards. He was near the blue line, and it goes in. Uh, that's not good. So the Devils, Markstrom. So I've got a, a bias on this because i got Jake Allen on one of my fantasy teams. So just maybe take Markstrom out, put Jake Allen in. I, that was a bad goal, uh, and the, that made it 2 nothing. And now the Steve Lorenz, like, Steve Lorenz, who is this guy? The fourth line. So again, who who lost the ice time to Max Pacioretty today? It was Ryan Reeves. Well, that's better than Bobby McMahon losing ice time. Still, I'd like to how this see this is going to work when when Yarn Yarnkak and and, and Dewar are back. But uh, Lorenz, there's no way this guy's going out of any lineup. Uh, worked his ass off, and again, kind of a weird goal. Puck just sitting there, but man, that's a hell of a backhand. He buries that, makes it three nothing, and then. I get, You've got the power play and the horrible Holmberg. Well, Holmberg got the they got the primary assist. Again, they're panicking in front of the net. Well, you know, when I was a kid, when you panic in front of the net, you always go to the boards. 
Like you just take the puck wherever the puck is and you you shoot it to the boards. Like that's that's panic time. Like you, you don't fire it up the middle panic time. Or you sit on the puck or you do something. You, you don't just maybe he thought he was going to be able to hit it with a little bit of authority, but it was perfect pass right to Brat and Brat buries it. Now Johnny Tay was in the box, but like I saw Craig Bruby doing a dive sign and now I love TSN. I'm going to get into something at the end, but I love TSN. TSN versus Sportsnet. They're not even in the same ballpark. Like TSN is is dynamite to watch a game on versus Sportsnet. It's not even close. But what happened to the Reap? At no point did I see like I thought maybe I missed something on my PVR. They did not show what Tavares did to get the penalty. So I can't even comment on it. I don't know how anyone can comment because I didn't see it. I didn't see it in the play, and then they didn't show a replay on it. Okay. But anyways, power play goal. It makes it 3-1. And I thought the Devils came out really strong in the second period. And that's where Hildeby came on. Uh, it was a little bit testy for that first 10 minutes. Uh, and then Johnny T scores a goal. But let's talk about Johnny T's goal, okay? Yes, he did make a move on a defenseman, okay. But the puck was sent to him by Domi. It was a hell of a pass by Domi. Uh, and I guess Ackman Larson got the other assist. But I, I just remember Domi making a, a hell of a play. And yes, John Tavares made a one-on-one -on -one move over him and made a nice shot. <sighs> Again. <sighs> Watch the rest of the game with Johnny T. Tell me how many board battles Johnny T won. Yes, he got a goal. And it was a hell of a pass by Domi. And yes, he did make a move. So maybe we should pay him $11 million for this nonsense. The rest of the game, him and Nylander and Domi, I just, I don't get it. I don't think the, I'm going to talk about the first line too. I don't think they're, this, these lines are not set up for winning. But anyways, Johnny T gets the goal and then you got Simon Benoit breaking his stick at the blue line. And that leads to mayhem and then, you know, a goal. And I don't know what, at least Simon Benoit, when he went down to block the shot, looked like he was trying to block the shot. I don't know what David Camp was doing. He was, he fell down. That's for sure. But at no point was, I don't think he was pretty near the puck. At least Benoit. I love when Benoit broke a stick. Man, worked harder than anyone else on the ice to try to get that puck back. So I love Benoit's effort. And, I, and I'll be honest with you. The goaltending was great. I thought the defense was very good. Can you believe this? Bill Sanderson. Negative Nelly. I was very impressed with the defense. And that includes Connor Timmons. I can't believe I'm saying this. I thought Larson was way better than he was the game before. Tanev was steady. I, Morgan Riley, other than the power play being an absolute disaster, he played good defensively. Like defensively, they played decent. I thought the fourth line was awesome. I thought the third line, Holmberg and Robertson, push and play. Second line was 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 no bueno. And the first line, the first line. Here, I think Matthew Nyes is a great player. I do. I like Matthew Nyes. There's a lot about his game I like. Big guy. He ran over Hamilton. Ran him over like a truck. He was great. He took a big hit. Benoit came over. Didn't even phase the kid. I like Matthew Nyes. I think he's a dynamite player. I don't think he can play with friggin' Matthews. He certainly can't play with Marner. But Matthews, I don't think he can play with. He doesn't have the finish. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. He'd be a hell of a second, hell of a third line player. I don't think he's a first line player. You got to add someone who can pop up there. I like Domi. I like Domi, Matthews, and maybe you get Nylander off the Schneid because Nylander doesn't even look like he cares. It, I, and maybe I'm going to be wrong. Maybe Matthew Nyes will start popping some goals. But he gets the puck and he's he works hard to get the puck, and then he makes a play that's kind of not the right play. He goes to the net. He does a lot of things well. There's just there's something there that I'm missing. So I can't really even get mad because I do enjoy watching him play. But uh, uh, Marner, Matthews, and Nice have combined for zero points. That's just facts. And they've dominated the play in the zone. There's just something missing. Anyways, uh, I was shocked to see the win. Uh, again, you watch the game versus the score sheet, and you understand that Max Pacioretty and John Tavares weren't that great. But the fourth and third lines were, 
<laughs> Holmberg and Robertson. I'll take that all day. Keep playing like that. Fourth line, I'll take. Okay, Bobby McMahon comes back in the lineup with even Camp. <laughs> I was like, what is this? But anyways, uh, great goaltending. Defense was solid. And Leafs win, 4-2. They play Pittsburgh on Saturday. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, I have the pleasure of going to get my daughter from university, so we're pretty pumped around here because we haven't seen her in a while. Uh, but I will talk to you on Saturday. Cheers.